Hey guys, how you doing? It's Hex, and I'm still, still, like, still now on itch, like, just digging through stuff and playing weirdness, and genuinely having kind of a nice time, actually. Uh, I do want to get back to playing Tyranny uh, later today, but uh, right now I thought, rather than, rather than making more Tyranny videos, I'd show you a little weird little game I found. Now, this game, if I, The Simpsons had a Halloween episode, where it was first person 50s sci-fi. This is the game, basically. And that's like a really like convoluted and weird way to explain it. But that's just what it reminds me of. Like the Simpsons Halloween episode. I don't even like the Simpsons. Um, the game is... Oh, man. It's called You're in Space and Everyone Wants You Dead. Um, yeah, it's running and jumping and throwing little grenade things. Uh, alien things. Um, and it's really hard. <laughs> And the uh, the graphics engine, uh, the engine, yeah, the implementation, the, the 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 aesthetic doesn't make it easier, but it does make it more atmospheric, which is interesting. So let's launch the game, shall we, and have a look. Um, this runs on the wrong monitor consistently, so we'll start it in windowed mode, then full screen it afterwards. Yeah, can't start on the right monitor in full screen mode. Always starts the right monitor in windowed mode. Weird that. Anyway, uh, full screen. No, will it not let us? Okay. Wait, it won't let us full screen. Okay. It's great, damn it. No, okay. Never mind. We'll just play it like this then. Yeah, this is it's like you've got a torch in front of you, right? And then you can you can hold down this to suck things into you. And and then you can sort of jump over here and now this is down. This is this is our uh, our thing, our, our box that we can then throw at the weird alien things that come. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Yeah. We're in space and everything wants us dead. It's not just a clever name. Everything really does want us dead. Uh, yeah, very weird. Now, to get away from these things, you have the power of double jump and you are quite rapid. You can traverse this planet very, very quickly. Uh, it really is like, I say planet, it's like a weird floaty thing. Yay, floaty things. Yeah, uh, and I've tried like jumping off the planet. But eventually, gravity just gets the better of you, regardless of where that is. I mean, you don't know. What, if you just go crazy with the jumping, it's hard to really tell what direction down is. But yeah, it's, it's I don't know, man. It's such a weird looking game. Uh, we can push P to turn that, to toggle that circle effect. Circle effect, yeah. Uh, you see this, uh, this weird haze and edging? We can hit P to toggle that on and off. Uh, it does look more striking in full screen, but apparently the game refused to full screen this time. Uh, and we can use O to toggle the color palette. Um, black and white, I think, is is the well the grayscale color palette. I think is the most eerie one of them all. Um, very, it's weird. It's really weird. Um, I don't. Yeah, I've I've been playing it for ages now. I really just like running around and like jumping and I don't know, the aesthetic of uh, leaping from plane to plane. Then that becomes down. It's something I've not really. I mean, I know other games have done this sort of thing, but I feel like this is this is this is the first one's done it in this way. Shadows are fucked up. I mean, like the shadows are fucked up. Like you look, looking like you can. You, my, my shadows the size of the planet there. Look, planetoid. Uh, weird. Yeah, really weird. I just thought I'd highlight this game anyway because it's just, it's just. I found it so striking, um, and so different to everything else I played that I thought, hey, we should show, we should show this. Uh, I'd really like to see this go in green greenlight because I think if they, if, if they, if whoever developed this, be it a they or a, or a person, I don't know, if whoever developed this released this as green greenlight for like a dollar. I reckon loads of people will buy this because it's really weird. Um, well, yeah, it just it's and it's it's weird that all of a sudden, like the thing that's in the distance, then becomes down. Yay! Ah, oh, died. That was that was like one of my best. That was one of my best actually. Uh, but yeah, that has been uh, you're in space and everyone wants you dead. Um, the weird space eyeball game where you can't see shit. That genuinely, um, genuinely is awesome. This <laughs> is so cool. Even the sound and the lack of music give it like a weird Simpsons esque horror movie feel. So it's peculiar. It's really peculiar. Ah, yeah. Uh, so that's anyway. That's been the game. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, and again, all these games on itch, uh, all the free games on itch, they don't have to be great. You know, like this is a really interesting concept that I think is great. But uh, it's not something you're going to come back to play time and time again. It's not something you're going to be playing for the next ten years. You know, this is just like. A little experience to be had and then when you've had the experience you move on to something else and that's i think that's it's kind of a bit like art isn't it it's like it's just like an artistic experience um i really like this though it's so much fun 
Yay, bouncy, bouncy. So I've been Hex. Thanks for watching. And I'll be back with, I think I might, I think I might talk about a bigger box game or something a little bit more meaty. Um, and I've also got my end of the month vlog coming up. So if you've got any questions, comments, or thoughts you want tackled in the end of month vlog, um, then that will probably be the next couple of days. So thank you for watching. And don't forget, you can like and subscribe for more of my nonsense. Uh, thank you. Oh, no, it's not working now, is it?